guys. Well, in this week's Come Follow Me study, we've been learning about the priesthood being restored. What is the priesthood? It's the power of God on the earth, and it's amazing. Here's the story. Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery were translating the Book of Mormon. They read about baptism and wanted to know more about it. Joseph and Oliver decided to ask God. They had faith that he would help them learn the truth. On the 15th of May, 1829, they went into the woods and prayed. A heavenly messenger came to Joseph and Oliver. It was John the Baptist, who had baptized Jesus long ago. A bright light was all around him. John the Baptist had come to give Joseph and Oliver the Aaronic priesthood. The priesthood is the power of God. The Aaronic priesthood includes the authority to baptize people. John the Baptist told Joseph and Oliver to baptize each other. Joseph baptized Oliver, and then Oliver baptized Joseph. They went down under the water when they were baptized. Long ago, John the Baptist had baptized Jesus the same way. Jesus had gone down under the water when he was baptized. Joseph and Oliver were filled with the Holy Ghost after they were baptized. The Holy Ghost told them the true church of Jesus Christ would soon be on the earth again. Joseph and Oliver told their good friends they had been baptized. They also told them about the priesthood. But Joseph and Oliver did not tell other people right away. They knew that some people would not believe them and would make trouble for them. Later, three other heavenly messengers came. They were Peter, James, and John, who were three of Jesus' original apostles. Peter, James, and John gave Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery the Melchizedek priesthood. This is also called the Greater Priesthood. Once the priesthood was restored, righteous men could be given authority to help to do God's work on earth. Men who have the Melchizedek priesthood can be church leaders. They can give blessings to people. They can also give people the gift of the Holy Ghost. The restoration of the priesthood is a great blessing. So John the Baptist visited Joseph and Oliver. John the Baptist, in case you forgot, is the person who baptized Jesus. So he came to Joseph and Oliver, and this is what he said. Upon you, my fellow servants, in the name of Messiah, I confer the priesthood of Aaron, which holds the keys of the ministering of angels and of the gospel of repentance and of baptism by immersion for the remission of sins. And this shall never be taken again from the earth until the sons of Levi do offer again an offering unto the Lord in righteousness. That's powerful. I don't know if that's what Joseph and Oliver were expecting that day when they went into the woods to pray. Let's watch as we listen to how Joseph described it. On a certain day, Oliver and I went into the woods to pray and inquire of the Lord respecting baptism for the remission of sins that we found mentioned in the translation of the plates. Upon you, my fellow servants, in the name of Messiah, I confer the priesthood of Aaron, which holds the keys of the ministering of angels and of the gospel of repentance and of baptism by immersion for the remission of sins. Super easy to remember. 
So let's hear the words. The priesthood is restored, the truth made known to man. That God has spoken to the earth, his power is here again. All right, we've got our little heart sticks today. If you guys want to look around and find something, you're more than welcome to lead the music along with us. I like uh, these kind of sticks. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give mine to Cambry, and I'm just going to use my hand. First, we're going to have you listen to us sing it because it's not that easy. There are some tricky parts, and then we'll do it again, and you can join us. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> For a pickle? Yeah, they gave me a pickle right before, like a pickle that hangs on the Christmas tree. Oh, it's like a yeah, pickle I remember that. Yeah. So, do you remember when they placed hands on your head and gave you the Holy Ghost? I kind of do, but not really. <laughs> well, you were given the Holy Ghost that day. Do you remember? Can you think of times? You don't have to share, but can you think of times since you were baptized when you really felt the Holy Ghost tell you something's true or help you? Make you feel safe or not scared or comforted or put a thought in your head to do something good? Mm, yeah. Yeah? How often do you think it happens? A little bit every day? Yeah. Yeah? For, for reals? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. You have lots of experiences, huh? You always share. Yeah. Tatum, when are you going to get baptized? Uh, in two years. How old are you? Uh, six. But when's your birthday? Uh, April 10th. So it's just in a couple months, you will be seven, which means you're getting baptized in one year. Can you Wait, believe that? Next year? 
Yeah, next oh. year you're getting baptized. I want to be baptized this year. You want to be baptized this year? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good that you want to be baptized. Tatum, what color do you wear when you get baptized? Uh, white. White, good job. What do you think that day is going to be like? Uh, like about like the 16th. No. Oh. How will you feel? Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited to get the gift of the Holy Ghost? Yeah. You like gifts, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's an awesome that's gift to have. That's the only thing he wants is gifts. He just wants gifts. Well, the, the gift of the Holy Ghost is one of the greatest gifts ever. Yeah. Something I love about the gift of the Holy Ghost is that when we have the Holy Ghost with us, and in our home, we can feel the love that the Lord has for us. We can feel that in our home. Our home can feel like the temple. You've probably been seeing hearts everywhere lately and feeling lots of love this week. There's a song all about this. I thought we could sing it today. It's called Love at Home. Here's the words. There is beauty all around when there's love at home. There is joy in every sound when there's love at home. Love at home, love at home. Time doth softly, sweetly glide when there's love at home. Second verse. In the cottage there is joy when there's love at home. Hate and envy ne'er annoy when there's love at home. Roses bloom beneath our feet. All the earth's a garden sweet. Here's some roses that someone gave me this week. They smell so good. I would love it if when I walked through my home, it felt like there were roses beneath my feet. Making life a bliss complete when there's love at home. It repeats those last couple of lines and then the third verse. Kindly heaven smiles above when there's love at home. All the world is filled with love when there's love at home. Sweeter sings the brooklet by, brighter beams the azure sky. Oh, there's one who smiles on high when there's love at home. It's so true though. I always feel like if everyone all over the world could feel love in their own home, then the whole world would be filled with love. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> okay, are you ready to sing it? Here we go. There is beauty all around when there's love at home. There is joy in every sound when there's
testimony with you that I know that the priesthood has been restored on the earth again. The priesthood is God's power. And through his power, we are blessed in so many ways. I'm grateful that I've had the chance to be baptized and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That has blessed me so much, so many times in my life. I know that as we invite that priesthood power into our lives and we invite that companionship of the Holy Ghost to be with us always, especially in our homes, we can feel love, we can feel peace, and we will be happy. I know that's true, and I say it in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you so much for singing with me today, you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're feeling lots of love today. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time.